Boom. Jump on the mic, yo. Oh, it's been a good show. Hell yeah. Oh. And I want to welcome everybody to Crashing Game Night. My name is Matt Diorio, your host, as always. I'm not sure why the picture is looking all weird on Twitch. Twitch is just being stupid. So um, we are sans the beanied one tonight. He had some family things to take care of. So uh, he's off doing that. We Parts are uh, joined yes, by the, uh, the the island hopping baby faced one, Theo Walski. Dude, like I haven't like fully paid attention to the Dodo's hairstyle behind the desk, but like I mm-hmm. want his hairstyle on my guy. Like I, I like his little hairstyle. Dude, the I want that wall. Three little spikes coming off his head. Yeah, I like. It. Yeah. Ooh, I might have to once you if you're not gonna keep the Dodo stuff that you get for in game stuff, you're gonna need to send it to me because I'm missing a couple pieces. Okay, can do. Uh, and then, lastly, ladies and gentlemen, the Matri D services. The man, the myth, the legend, DK himself. The Lions. Apparently, Jason apparently the person that doesn't only need to be sponsored by Square Enix, but also by Uniqlo. <laughs> is that a Uniqlo shirt? How's it shirt? going, guys? How's it going? <laughs> yes, it is a Uniqlo shirt. Yep. Bro, I love, I love their little collabs, man. Their collabs are actually really nice. They're really good. But what and is that have, collab? I mean, was, uh, it, it's just yeah, single was, Donkey Kong, right? No, it was actually like a was it? I don't think it was a Nintendo, but it was like a retro game, uh, retro arcade or something like that. Classics. Hmm, okay. I forget. I forget what the what the actual like collab was. I really don't think it was Nintendo, but it could have been. Dude, you're hurting your chances for sponsorship right now. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Know your stuff, sir. Know your stuff. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, while we're uh, recording tonight, we've you know Theo was playing Animal Crossing last week. This time he's playing it this week, but he's going to come check out my island. So while we record and we talk about things tonight, everyone's going to actually going to be able to see, you know, all the shenanigans uh, that I've been I'll up go to around Matt's island and then I'll come back to mine and show you what a shit island looks like. <laughs> <laughs> In all fairness, he's starting off, right? He had to restart his yeah, I'm starting because, over. I'm starting over. You know, so. But how is everybody? Dude. I love that it's Tuesday, but I also hate that it's Tuesday with respects. Why? <laughs> I like how my island looks. Because it's yeah. only Tuesday. <laughs> I, want, I want this week from work to be done. See, you just got dude. off the weekend, you know, you're just like, all right. And then you're like, uh. like uh. <laughs> so I do like uh, I do like my island aerial view. So there's all your stuff in front <laughs> of my waving. house. By the way. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Um, um, yeah, it's been, it's been going, it's been okay. You know, yeah, nothing, nothing too insane, nothing too crazy. We're hitting the end of the month, you know. Yeah, so, you know, the, the season's starting already, man. The uh, the holiday season, punk really? pies, holiday season, punk yeah. pies all day. Uh, let's see, let's see. Punk pies and so, chicken. uh, <laughs> Theo, I do have uh seven fossils out there for you okay i miscounted look at that <laughs> um How dare you. Okay. I know, right? i'm glad i never got into this look at that what the dude heck? you should oh, you man. should see my island jason now that I we've been like uh, hey it's okay you can like, see it man. I, i'm not so, i'm not a, i'm not a big animal crossing um, guy man like it's oh, yeah i'm gonna help you out and pick me. some weeds here go for it weeds. Like, I, I like there to be like some sort of End game. Nah. Yeah, I can't get to that. Okay, that's fair. So, like, I mean, even if it's like, right it's like MMO, but, but with this game, you like can make your own version of end game. Yeah, like, look maybe at my your house. End game is, like, maybe your end game is to nah, have a cool like, house, or your end game is to collect every single freaking oh thing god. in this yeah. entire game. Oh my god! <laughs> like, hey, yeah. I'm working on that. By the way. <laughs> oh. Or, or your end game Doing is just collecting all the fish just, and uh, uh-uh. come on, look at that kitchen. Look at that kitchen, right? Jesus. Come on. See, like originally my that's end game so was just gonna be so crowded, man. It's, it's growing like, all the different variants of flowers it, it, and it, colors. It gives that was me like my end game. Like, what is that? When you feel like trapped, like 
claustrophobic. claustrophobia yeah like dude it's don't tough. then don't show them my room because oh. <laughs> um so anyway so we got we got a bit to talk about tonight um so starting off this evening is um this week the last couple days actually sag aftra has provided a uh, strike authorization to their negotiating committee uh, in terms of the the video game industry. Um, there was 27.47% of the eligible voters who casted votes. So I think kind of sad. I think that's good though. Mm-hmm. I think they should be included. Because I mean, when we kind of figured like, if anything, the first friggin' industry to get covered or replaced by ai is gonna be video games uh it's already in process so yeah, yeah. See, exactly so, yeah. um <laughs> ignore the uh turnips on my uh on my floor Don't worry, i'm not stealing on the floor. I'm doing uh, just, so uh, it's see? i so do you think I'm, it's really uh, cool that you have the laptop with the old school cgn logo on it dude did you around. not see the flag at resident services oh no i have the old logo as my flag as my island flag yeah you even have it all over the bed too <laughs> yeah that's, that's the guest so bedroom funny. it's an office slash guest bedroom so you know <laughs> um anyways but uh what that does mean is that um it gives the negotiating committee um the ability to call for a strike right if they don't the next round of meetings that is to take place the 26 or uh today tomorrow and thursday um yeah, Jason, that's my that's my colored, you know, cluttered room there. Uh, the power to do it. But what it is is they're striking against the inter interactive media uh, conglomerate essentially. Um, the signatory uh, companies on that are Activision, Blindlight, Disney, Insomniac, Epic Games, Take Two Productions, uh, VoiceWorks, and WB Games. They've been okay. in negotiations with them since October of last year. Well, that's a pretty um, substantial size there, though. And it seems like a lot of them are mm-hmm. connected to like a major studio, anyways. Like, yeah. Um, well, yeah. So, like, like Insomniac WB is PlayStation. Like, yeah. WB Games has their own. Take Two is um, Gearbox. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it you know? seems like these are like the major, mm-hmm. the, the major the players. Major, the major players, not so much yep. the uh, secondaries or the mm-hmm. uh, indies, obviously, but um yeah it, it just seems like they're t- they're they're very closely tied so i, I get correct that. I get and that. I get that it is one of those things i think it needs to happen um because like you talked about from an ai perspective right you already have companies that are already recording voices and um using those right and trying to use them to to cut corners right kind of like what they're they're fighting against with the actor strike um now um on that right we also did get some decently good news is that the writers and the uh amptp has come to a uh handshake agreement pending the final contract language that their strike is over oh okay okay um and i think part of it is they're they've realized is they're they're losing money you know, especially from the late night shows and, and the talk shows and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, two is you're about to go into a really big news cycle from from an election election standpoint, and True. and talk shows are how a lot of people get some of their information. Yep. Um, and and the holiday season is just around the corner, as I said earlier. Yep. You know? Exactly. Push, so push those holidays. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, Theo, there that whole area has been redone. That was empty when you were. On my island oh, nice yep so with that i'm glad that you know people are going to start being you know writers are going to be able to return to work they've been out the longest um yeah. next up is the actors and we'll see how that goes i don't think hollywood can last too much longer um warner brothers has already stated i mean they lost a, a grip ton of money so far you right. know because you know they're not in production right now mm-hmm. um so um w- with that though i mean how do you feel about them potentially going on strike against the video game industry with so many projects in the pipe that we know some of them already had lines done for them 
Uh, some of them are probably doing some mocap recording still. Um, how do you guys feel about the potential strike against uh, the video game industry? I say put it on hold. We've said time and time again, stuff is getting rushed as it is right now. Put it yeah. on hold. We've yeah. got it. We've everybody's got their backlog. Like if you don't have a backlog, you, you're doing okay. either something wrong or something extremely right because you're getting paid to play video yeah. games. <laughs> because so like, let's, it, that let's has be to honest. Be happening. I have a backlog because I keep going back to this nonsense. <laughs> you know, with Which my island and um, everything. Because you know, this is a polished game, sir. <laughs> Yes. And it was released very well. I mean, it had a couple bugs when it first came out, but like they were minor bugs. I mean, yeah. still to this day, I don't think there's ever been a game that had a more perfect release. Like, oh, honestly. with the pandemic? Oh, yes. I will absolutely agree with you, right? Like, oh, there's, yeah. there's the no perfect timing. Game. Like, it was just perfect. Um, but going back to your question, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of. I'm kind of laughing at this right now okay only because you have the major companies that are going to be doing this strike um obviously yes to theo's point yeah things are being rushed things are things mm-hmm. aren't back to like company normal as we could say because of the pandemic the the but- how much everything has been rushed how much everything has been pushed people have been suffering and etc cetera, etc cetera. so i get that side what makes me laugh about this whole thing is because of the whole thing that's been going on mm-hmm. with the unity engine mm-hmm. um that's seriously making it so then you have no indies no minor minor league games no major titles Wait, why 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 is that why is unity affecting indie it should in my mind, because it most increase indie. No, no. Most because... of the indie studios use Unity, and with them raising the prices on everything, yeah. which they've now come out and said they are rethinking that whole price increase because of so much backlash. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. not official yet. It's um, you know it's still up in the but air. I think, but, but I don't like, think the you have the everything going like down and not pushing mm-hmm. for putting out games, putting out quality games, putting out like new and inventive games you were we're going to be having this age of remakes age of remasters that we seriously have been going through for the last few years which we'll talk about that here in a second i i, um, I just find it funny because like we're, we're we're squashing all of it and just leaning towards the ai leaning towards the oasis i mean like it's mm-hmm. just getting crazier it's just starting to be so a here's the funny. thing with that though is is that the voice actors going on strike, right, is not going to really delay the games themselves other than from a, you know, a voice role perspective, right? The lines and and whatnot that are for the game. I think that oh they're God, still going to keep going with games anymore. Please don't make me read. Well, no, it's not that. Is, you're going to be, they're still going to be producing <laughs> these games, right? Look at the production value that's going into these games, right? Um Case in point, Wolverine, you know that Insomniac is going ahead with all the principal C, you know, CG work and everything for it, the action sequences, they just are going to need those lines to be recorded. They may already be recorded at this point, but that being said, I, I, I do agree that things are being rushed, but at the same time as these, these actors need to be protected because to that with the ai point of view is they they're looking to have their voices like completely just hijacked yeah put into an ai engine and then never be able to voice act again so think about this is that you know with with those that are you know friends of us like you know tom Earl jenkins and you know john um, mallory mallory sam laura kenny like did you go down the list right and if they only did a one time in studio, recorded some lines, and then their voices were put into an AI engine, then you know they're never going to be able to. They're not going to get perpetuity, and that's one of the bigger issues that's coming up, especially with the actors. Right, is they want to digitize background actors and put them into, um, in any scene they want to, and not pay them for it. So, and it's crazy how close they are to do that because I I don't know if you guys know, but with the new Apple iOS, you can record your own voice and make yourself Siri. Oh my Wait, you what? Only, yeah. Oh 
I saw Wait, this. I didn't know that. I, yeah. So you, you end up going through accessibility and like you, you can change the voice and you just have to record like five paragraphs or something like that. And it's got, it's got your whole thing. You, you can become your own series. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, wow. that's cool and all, but also like I'm, you, you could be kind of scared to do that. Cause and then maybe your voice can it's be put shared into an with Apple by yourself. and put it in a set, and then you're oh, you're God. like maybe you're the next uh phone scammer or something and like it, it, it's it's a little scary yeah. how things can happen because like because mm -hmm. like there's we've said many times and everybody knows this nobody reads the small fine print when you're agreeing to what you're sharing yeah. with this stuff so like that's why we always think nsa is watching us because like oh we're talking about this mm -hmm. product on on zoom right now and then next thing we know we pull up amazon there's an ad for it or something like right? that because our or stuff facebook is exactly yeah, and it was like who's listening? It's like it was like you signed your life away. It's your fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So Theo, you like that new area up there? I do. I do like the diner new, area. It looks really restaurant. good. Restaurant, and I just added the the signage to to make it light up at night. You know, so um, I I can't. I, that's that's just that's funny to me too. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. scary because you know, yeah. like you guys, you guys are starting to get into this like apple's starting to become one with people like pretty soon you're going to have a mm -hmm. high high person hey 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 i don't want to see you five fingers <laughs> over there stealing my register money get out of, get out of there um but then <laughs> like you're you, too, you are right though jason it's like they're becoming like it, they're one advancing step closer some of these to the things. oasis baby no we're getting one step closer to uh, skynet oh uh, yeah i was to say skynet i don't think about oasis no I think about what Terminator 2 warned us about, like really the the full on advent of Skynet, you know. So we're, we're getting there. I mean, like one of these days, you guys are gonna become one person again from, mm -hmm. from Apple products. You know, you guys are just gonna be one person, one right? Apple, one Apple person connected. Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna Sounds start so spreading. <laughs> That's just, just, the, just the way that you like interlaced your fingers and everything just like went yeah. human centipede. Yo, like, yes, sir. Uh, nasty. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna be yeah. No. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Human I will give you props that, that you just go. just went made Apple go down one mm -hmm. notch for me because you said that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, still like Android's <laughs> way, way down and only one notch thing will make a difference, but Yep. It went down a notch. <laughs> so Theo, real quick, uh, go go across the river right there, and you'll see the. This yep, right there. There's my new little area. Nah. <laughs> if you go down below it and then turn from the bottom and uh, hit A on the ship, it'll and watch that move. There's a little alien that comes out of the ship. There's an alien that comes out of the ship. Yeah, right there. You can't see him. Oh, he's, he's so it. small. Yeah, he's a little tiny guy. <laughs> um, so anyway, so Tokyo Game Show is kind of going on right now. Um, honestly, and that right that okay. So if I hadn't seen a thing a post by Xbox, right, um, I wouldn't have known anything was going on with Tokyo Game Show right now. Totally forgot about. It. There's no real announcements coming out of it, Actually, which is come to weird. think of it. There's there's like really a lot of stuff that I I'm not happening across anymore like i really have yep. to like go to certain areas in order to find it or to, just mm -hmm. to really be really subscribed to something in order to get information about yep. it these days but like, yeah you don't really discover much anymore um but uh so there was a couple things that were shown off so dragon's dogma 2 got a a new trailer and apparently it was like the talk of the show okay so um yep dig up what you want if you find a fossil, take it home with you. Um, and then, uh, Jason, a game that you like, uh, Ace Attorney, the Apollo Justice uh, Ace Attorney trilogy, is going to be coming to PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch on January 25th. So officially oh, got an announcement okay. with a new oh, little nice. trailer for it. So just another one that Jason... Because that's always been on. exclusively yeah. Nintendo and previously Sega, no, right? Uh, it's on PlayStation, too. Uh, that's the, uh, that's Ace Attorney the, uh, used to be on the DSs. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the Apollo Justice is like the Ace Attorney mm-hmm. two kind of deal. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my island. You use. So I can't I? I still, even to the day, this is this is what one thousand plus crossing. hours will get you. Yeah, but I mean, I still look at Animal Crossing. And I just, I still don't get it. I still don't feel I that like oh, I Animal Crossing. It. It's my relaxation game. And I get to it. be I perfectly get honest, there, there's there's you know, some of us. I, I, I will be it. guilty. I don't understand the re- repetitiveness of Final Fantasy 14, especially with the E3 aspect where you keep going back over yeah. and over. Uh, for sure, shirts. there is a shirt involved. There's One shirt, a tangible. One shirt, shirt <laughs> that you can get. <laughs> And this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is where I kick Theo off my island. Rude! I was just about to wow, head out. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't even get to the So unwelcomed. Could. I know. Look at that. Where's this, where's this customer service? Jeez. Right. Well, <laughs> you know. You just showed up and got eight fossils off my island? I was going to go get it assessed and then let you choose whether or not I had to keep it there. No. I don't need to keep them because I have my, my museum is full. Okay. Um, I have all the fossils. I have um, 90% of the fish, 80% of the bugs, and like 75%, 80% of the paintings. But the fossils are completely done. That just sounds like a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot of work because with the paintings and Granted, the Granted, you only the said statues, percentages. Granted, you only said percentages because it could be like... 10. <laughs> has oh, no, it's, 10. It's, it's way more 80% than 80% of the um, 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, no, there's a reason why I kind of wanted to, to, you know, pick the off my Alex. I'm going to need to share the screen here, so I need to pay attention to the podcast stuff. So uh, anyways, but uh, Xbox, though, did have a good size showing and booth at Tokyo Game Show. Um you can tell that Xbox is starting to make more of an investment in Japan. Interesting. Um, Very interesting. And, yeah, it's especially not surprising. Not they're surprising. having a partnership. You know, they're they're really working with Square Enix to try and bring more of the Square games to Xbox, which we know all of us know they've been predominantly on PlayStation Yo. and yeah. Switch, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, and overseas, Square and, is like. Square is God. Square along is like our, I don't even know what it would be like. Maybe Bethesda, maybe Activision. Um, like, uh, I don't know what Bio, would be Bioware like that, in the heyday. That, that like, that you know, size. Um, but it is, it is like everything and some. Correct. Is and it like our EA? Mm. Just, oh, like, just a matter of like size, not necessarily like, popularity. Like, matter of size like, no, for maybe maybe popularity. Like, like Blizzard. <laughs> Esque, yeah, like yeah, it's, it's Blizzard esque. Right. It's big. Okay, um, big, he big. But no, it's nice seeing Xbox taking an investment in that. We know Xbox has long been way, way down the list in terms of sales. Mm-hmm. Um, in no. some cases, you know, DSs still outsell Xboxes, but that is changing, right? And and I think now that Xbox is, you know, they're they even talked about in their 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 briefing, so to speak, that they realize that the PC growth and the growth of Xbox has been really big the last couple of years. So they need to actually make those investments. So they are actually trying and, and I applaud them for it. Right. Um, because they do have some games that, um, you know, aren't readily available over there, you know, like a gears or halo and whatnot. So, um, they did show off, uh, the highlights though, are that, uh, Octopath Traveler 2, speaking of Square Enix, is going to be coming to Xbox uh, in early next year. So, okay. yeah. And so, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that uh, Nintendo is starting, like, mm-hmm. it had is going to be passed off onto Xbox. Yeah. They were, they were originally console exclusives, but, you know, I mean, they were timed exclusives, right? Yeah. Because, you know, Octopath Traveler 2 has come to, you know, so you actually bring up an interesting mm-hmm. point that leads to a thought. Do you think with getting more of a presence in Japan or even a presence anywhere else, do you think it would mm-hmm. increase the amount of accessibility with um, cross languages 
for games. So, so I mean, like, so like a lot of ga- like, there's a lot of like mm-hmm. Japanese specific games that are still only recorded in Japanese mm-hmm. and all yeah. that, and doesn't this, you can play it, but like, you're not going to understand it. It's not localized transition. Yeah, it's not yeah. localized. Um, and at the same time, like, there's not really many other mm-hmm. languages for games. Like, I mean, there's some I can French, see, Spanish, but yeah, it's still I can see rare. Xbox wanting to do that. Right. Um, they're already they've already made that commitment by um early next year uh elder scrolls online is going to be 100% localized in japanese okay so that's a huge step because i mean yeah. case in point right square enix and is a japanese company bethesda right they're they're an american company and their games are still enjoyed around the world so to have it fully localized just in japanese is is yeah. big um and i applaud them for that um so it was one of the announcements they made for the Tokyo Game Show. Um, they also announced uh, Fallout 76, the Atlantic City uh, expansion. Um, I will say this, from the look of that game, it looks well improved from, where, from when it actually launched. So, um, And then they also showed off the uh, Hanoki circuit for Forza uh, when that launches Ooh, here in a couple okay. of weeks. It looked really pretty. It had a lot of the cherry blossom trees and and whatnot. So um, and I forget that looked, that Forza is included in Game Pass, right? It is, and it is already pre. <laughs> so yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, it's already pre-installed on my Xbox right now. On your what? On my Xbox. On your what? <laughs> on my Xbox. Oh, on your what? Oh my God! Look at this mini fridge, mini fridge, mini fridge. No, it's not even that. It's just look at that, like. They got him. They got him. They got him. I'm, 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 I'm still saying that this is the the right the gate the gateway purchase to a PC. It is. It is. So I mean, it's it's gonna be, it's, it's it's the next step. As soon as as, as soon as Microsoft invest. makes the decision to get rid of Xbox OS and puts in Windows OS on Xbox, oh. and somehow makes that work, then everybody's gonna go PC. It's, it's it's the next it's the the step of investing without baby overly steps. investing Theo. you know what <laughs> baby, <I'm saying? laughs> baby steps so i mean we'll talk about it. i mean like because i know i said last week that i i wasn't going to get an a con an xbox console um we'll kind of go into that decision here in a second on rethinking that process um but with that um oh. This week, uh, Xbox also announced that the color shift colors are going to be going to Design Lab. So the oh, ones okay. where it has, so all of these are going to be going into Design Lab, where you can design the your own gradient controllers. colors. Yeah, the gradient and stuff. So okay. uh, it's kind of nice. I was already kind of just like looking at it, and you know, the controllers themselves they start off at seventy dollars if you're just doing just the basic colors. Mm-hmm. But you can also do your own custom Elite 2 controllers, the components. Um, you know, they've even got controllers designed, you know, that are Force inspired and whatnot. Um, but it is really actually cool. And I wish, I wish PlayStation did something like this so everyone could have like a really should. controller. Well, as well as, the, as, oh, well as they should do it. To, though, if, but... if they did it to I the mean, plates too, that mm-hmm. would be that would be yeah. amazing. I mean, but think about this. They right? are though. Like, remember, guys, but they're we're not. Talking about they're that. not letting no. you personalize it. They're expanding yeah. the options, but they're yeah. not mm-hmm. expanding personalization. I mean, like, yeah. Pick up a gun. Pick up a paintbrush. Yeah, but like Let's, here, you can do you can do your. I don't, have I don't know. Skills. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know how personalized you can. Get, Let me see like, your you know. art skills. Like I, I know your well, wife's art skills. I don't need to worry about that because I don't care about this. <laughs> is it white? <laughs> is it black? Do, my question is: Does it work? <laughs> does it work all right but yeah i, I mean i'm gonna take your, your your panels off and then let's see how that works as long as <laughs> right? it works bro as long as it works my man but i like how you can just customize like literally customize every piece of the controller like i was looking and playing around with this as i was looking at those new colors and it is it is really cool not gonna lie <clears throat> so I mean, and so um, far with like your add-ons and stuff, it seems reasonably priced. Mm-hmm. Whereas like most customization, oh, customized well, ones, let's like, see here. Like if you talk about like scuff or something, like you're easily oh, no. dropping 140. Watch, watch the price on this. Watch the price on this. So this is just the basic controller, right? I'm going with the the color gradient. shift. 
Okay. The gradient. Uh, changing up what colors I want here, right? Um, I want to add on if I want to do the rubberized grips. That changes the price. Um, when you get down into anything that has the metallics, it adds on a couple bucks. And it just kind of goes from there. So, so far we're at a hundred bucks. So right now there's a hundred dollars if I go full metallic on that. But that so far that's with like every yeah, option like every. chosen so far. And then if and I then want 10 to bucks for it. Okay, yeah. still 110 bucks. Where I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm still I don't know. I'm uh, still pretty right sure I'm still pretty so, sure that's considerably cheaper than scuff. Just put Su Gen Matt. There it is. Su Gen Matt. Yeah, we could do, you know. Right there, it's what, what is just it? engraves it oh right on the bottom. God, I can't even see that. <laughs> yeah. So if I go, so there you go. So that's where it goes. Oh my god. I mean, so, um, I I do know that uh, Khalif. So uh, I'm gonna put it out there right now. Base price mm -hmm. for a scuff, which is still okay. like you're you're basically talking an elite base price okay. for a scuff for xbox instinct 170 dollars. <laughs> you're already paying an extra 60 bucks than a fully customized you're standard buying a second controller man <laughs> exactly so here's the here's the elite two um so we can okay if, base price at 150 <laughs> 150 to start so jeez what the still heck? cheaper <laughs> so you don't see let's see here metallics so the triggers don't add on anything. Are we buying so if you go with metallics, console? May good lord. Um, you can even do. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can do your. You can do either faceted or a true old school uh, D pad with it for the customization. That's nice. That's nice. That's like that's that. like super nice. You can do you know your thumbstick base colors, the toppers on them. Uh, and the actual like thumbstick ring that's actually super cool um you've got all these different colored colors for your buttons so um, like i would want every single button customized like yeah so like, i don't again, want the, i don't want the, I, mean, I don't want that all be the same color i want like x to be like honestly neon green and 150 to be, like pink or like some craziness Yep. So 150, not bad though. I mean, for a fully customized Elite 2. Oh no, now Theo's doing it. Oh, oh my god. Darn right, I'm doing it. I'm, oh, I'm just no. I'm yep. just looking at what Scuff is doing. They're 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 insane right now with their prices. <laughs> I used to love yeah. having a Scuff so much, but yep. like I've only changed the color and I'm already at 230. dollars yep. Yeah. So uh, on the PlayStation side. Well, Theo's messing around with the those sides. Uh, today is Outbreak Day, aka Last of Us Day. Um, you know, Jason was talking about remasters, and you know what? We just, I mean, we just had the the remake of The Last of Us. We know Last of Us Part Two uh, remake is in progress. They came up with some uh, Last of Us Day merchandise today. That's um, sick. I mean, Ooh, you like get sure. have like. Uh, Ellie's face Pedro made out of Polaroids. Like is that Polaroids or postcards? It's, like it, I don't know if it's pictures or it's postcards. Uh, it's a collage, so I'm guessing pictures right. or, post or whatever. But it's like okay. you see her half and half, right? Her old version versus the new version. Um, the hoodie, I'm not impressed with. Um, mm, minimalist. It just leaves on the sleeves, and you know, a it's little minimalist. tiny crest on there. Yeah, very minimalist. Um, Nothing wrong with minimalist. And then you have a notebook set, you know, which is. It's all right. Um, the replica of her backpack. You know, they've got a uh, a bundle that has the keychain, the the pilot wings, and and everything. Um, I don't remember the little monster, the one eyed oh, monster. monster. Yeah, you find that in um, in one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So you can get all those separately as well, and then they came out with a the part one poster again and the hat so and you know what from a i get it it is a big deal for a lot of people for for the last of us and what outbreak day is i just i don't know a little much a little it's much. 
if you're going to do something, at least kind of give us, give the fans some really, really cool stuff. Not just like a minimalist hoodie that you're going to probably end up charging 80 bucks. Probably 80. Oh, 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 look, $75. And uh, 75. So it depends on the size. Yeah. So yep. if you uh, if you I go just, my size, which always goes up in price two x, it's probably <laughs> eighty five now. I just, yeah. So let's go I look at that. that. So they're, they're trying to, you that, know, it's honestly, it's just trying to capitalize on yep, no. all, all this goodness. <laughs> it, mm. Even it, even the little monster, like you buy it separately, or you do the bundle, the bundle of the right? backpack. It's oh my god, seventy six for the bundle, or you get it's sixty five for the replica. That's yeah, dumb. That, but, that, wait, wait. That's dumb. Why do, the ma- the, do the math there. Yeah, it, it's cheaper. There... It's like a dollar cheaper to buy <laughs> them separate cheaper. than bundled. Yeah. How no, does not. that make so sense? So the, the replica is 65. Yeah. The keychain is 10. So that's 75. And the bundle is 76. The bundle 76. No. Oh, it includes the, oh, oh, yes. it includes the pin. Oh, okay. So you save that's 10. Right. You get basically buy two, get one free. There's okay. Matt. There's Matt saving Sony right now. Yeah, there it is. I, 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 we thought that the pin or the pin like it looked like it was on the backpack already. Yeah, right? that's why I totally thought it was just like a print yeah, or B, something. B, yeah, they were right on point with that. We're like, B, really? <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah. Um, and then you've got the shirt is thirty. See, like, if so anything, maybe that's the reasonable price. Stop sign, thirty is reasonable stop price. Sign, maybe, yeah, something like you know, like. That's actually, uh, I mean, the cool. Firefly stop actually, sign. Yeah, like, that's pretty that's, cool. That's possible. It's 20 by 20. It's like an absolute Actual, like, like real stop, stop sign. sign. Yeah. 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 That's possible. Like, that would be the only one. But then again, you know, so, you can just go outside and don't do Still want to make your own. Don't do that one. <laughs> do, don't do that, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't steal a stop yes. sign. Please don't steal stop signs. Um, so, yeah, it it's all right. But, you know. Hey, it's I, all, it's I, all I ending up to, it's all up to the, the Last of Us Part Two. It's that's like, going to be on HBO Max when we get a to to be determined date after all this craziness. So. We got to get the True. we got to get the actor strike over with. So exactly the to um, be determined date, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, lastly, you have the Maximus Cup. Maximus. Um, so it's going to be another Xenoblade uh, background. Um, okay. I will. I mean, I have all the rest of them, so I'm gonna hop on and do it this weekend and just knock out and you, get it. Because all you have to do is participate, right? Yeah, or if do you, you score hundred points, you have, oh, yeah, okay. you have, you have to, to score hundred points. Yeah, but it's if but, you win, it's instant. But, but it's like you, you, like, you, you, you win hundred points in a single game, or like no. just no, cumulative. it's total. Like you can play hundred games at one point apiece and still get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I average, I mean, I average top 20 at least, so I can probably knock that out in three to four rounds. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a few rounds yeah. of few few rounds of grinding. Yep. Grinding. That's so that'll point. start this weekend. Um I actually start Friday at midnight and I'll go through Monday at midnight. So that's not too bad. So, it, so wait, yeah. like when they say Friday at midnight, does that mean like Friday morning midnight or no, Friday it's night literally, midnight? No, it's Friday morning midnight. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. Like, like so tw- Friday, twelve oh one a.m. That's why I appreciate a.m. It starts. <laughs> That's why I appreciate Sony sometimes with their times that they put in the fifty nine, so that way you know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, I guess I should. I, I owe everyone an explanation on on that the the mini fridge that's sitting on my desk. Because I did go on record as saying I was just going to stick with X Cloud. Um, however. I think having a 15, 20 minute wait time to access xCloud is one of the, the drivers on it um, because I really want to play Forza. I really, I love, I've always loved Forza over Gran Turismo. Why are there wait um, times? I don't understand that. But why are there wait times for There's just that many people Pass? playing xCloud. So ever since Star, or Starfield launched, everybody okay. is wanting to play it that's using cloud. Now think about this is, Anybody with an Xbox console that right. doesn't want to download and install Starfield can play it off of xCloud. Okay. So not only do you have PC players that are using xCloud, but you have console players using xCloud as well. Yeah. So it's just basically, it's like a wait time. It's like Final Fantasy 14. You got to wait for space, you know? So, okay. um, so I, for I me, definitely feel like that was 
Mm-hmm. Something that should have been thought through a long time ago with how long well, Game Pass has been it's around. Still, it's like well, I, 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 I experienced that with like mm-hmm. release days with Destiny. It's like, yeah, our servers are packed mm-hmm. because of the brand new thing. But I mean, like when you have a wide yeah. variety of a platform, I think you should have thought about space. <laughs> well, but you got to figure out xCloud. xCloud is still in beta, though. Like they're still fleshed that whole thing out. That was part of the whole Activision trial that they're not there yet with with cloud gaming, right? They're still trying to figure out mm-hmm. the the magic number there. So um, at least at least they got rid of games with gold. So maybe they'll be able to replenish yeah. some servers that way. So I did think about going with a speaker box, but I was like, for ten bucks more a month, I can get one that actually makes use of my monitor from a four K. What do you mean by ten bucks more a month? So I did it under Xbox All Access. So which is that, that program where uh, it's a two-year program. You get either the Series S and two years of um, Game Pass Ultimate okay. um, for 20, it's you know 25 bucks a month plus whatever taxes were in your area. So like for me, it would have been 26 and change to do okay. um, to do it that way. And I just pay for it monthly instead of having to pay $300 up front plus whatever Game Pass oh, is. So it's just a way to finance it's all it. taken care of. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. it's, and then for the Series X, it was $35. Um, Jason went to Panera, didn't you? It's leftovers. I, mean, I, I just, yeah, I just get uh, drinks from there. That's it. Yeah, well, it's still, it's a Panera cup, dude. Wait, why do you go into Panera. Panera just for a drink? Uh, right. Have you heard of the drink club, bro? Oh, no. yeah. What is this drink club thing? <laughs> Jason, do tell. I mean, what is this drink club? Long Look, story like short, you know, because I'm not trying to get sponsored by Panera, sir. But, no, but, I, I, but if, it, if it comes to like I free would. crap from Panera, I'll take it. Uh, like, pretty much. It's, uh, edu- it's, educate us people that that are missing out on this like potential free fountain of soda. It's not free. It's, it's, a monthly, it's a monthly service, yeah. you know, that okay. you pay. But you can go like, I forget how many times a day, but you can pretty much get a large drink anytime, every day, like I think a few times a day. The unlimited sip cup, it is yep. 12 or sip club, it's 12 bucks a month. Yep. Okay. Um no but, fee. Oh, you just constantly free. just go in, you're like, hey, show them your like little membership thing, get a free drink. Yeah. That's it. Walk out. Bye. Put it do but it. It said unlimited. Phone. So, but you said yeah. there was like a number of times a day. That doesn't sound unlimited. No, it's it's like how like like one an hour or like one every like two hours so oh, it is okay. it's limited but it's they, they s- like slow your roll yeah. type of deal like not, don't not put your like, mouth hey, underneath I'm the a, fountain I'm for a, a while chill, i'm gonna chill at panera for like 10 yeah, hours yeah you get uh, like... so you can enjoy a, i'm i'm quoting this right off of the panera yeah. app uh you can enjoy any size drip hot coffee hot tea iced coffee iced tea charged sips lemonade or fountain drink every two hours yep during regular uh, bakery cafe hours. Yep. Including free refills of the same beverage at yep. participating Paneras. That's a pretty good deal. Cause I mean, like on yeah. average, a coffee is like five bucks Let's, in general. Even if even if you say in general dollars on the low, you know, dude, yeah. 12 bucks a month with how much I drink tea, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Why yeah. why do you think everything like if you if you go back to all the episodes, like, we're, like, like even if you, you did 12 bucks this. a day and yeah, long, as long as you went four times constantly. a day, you're good. You'll see so, this cup constantly if you go back to yeah. uh, all of our VODs. I'll have to look. So the only uh, thing that turns me away from it is that I have to leave my house to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only sad thing. Like I have to, so, I have to uh, go actively go get it and come back. I'm like, oh. Anyway, I am sunlight. I'm gonna, it's bad. I'm gonna sunlight. I'm gonna fall at the gas prices, the, the bro. feet and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> For uh, to Jerry and Jason. On the other reason, I went ahead and grabbed the X now while I could, because um, because say it loud, say it proud, because it has a disc drive yes, on it, physical baby. So I could play say it loud, physical say it discs proud. if I wanted to. Um, okay, mm, for now at least, for now. Well, but yeah, but there's I, I could they're go. Gonna, they're gonna come to your house and take it from you. I, no, I, I'm saying I still think there's an end of life to to physical. Oh, there is. Oh, there yes. is. There absolutely is. Yeah. But I just think that there's some older games out there that would be great to go pick up, you know, because they're cheap. I can get them the a lot of the physical Xbox Series X, you know, games a lot cheaper than the online store. 
So yeah, yeah. it allows because when, when, when stores online and digital like tends Buy, to stay expensive. Yeah. When stores like Best Buy, Target, mm-hmm. wherever, if they yeah. have an excessive amount of product, guess what happens? Mm-hmm. They got to clear those shelves. So yo, you getting it for I, for discount? And and, like the... and if you go out Black Friday, it's even better. Yeah. Because yo, you just like punch mm-hmm. a kid in the face and be like, "Yo, that's mine, bro." Like, <laughs> we do you not put your. We do you not put condone violence. <laughs> you know, but no, I like honestly. After Jeez, we Jason, about with all these week, suggestions, punching kids in faces, know, stealing bro. stop signs. <laughs> Dang, who hurt, dude, who hurt you as a kid? Uh, um, are you back to being a teenager? I'm, what? I'm amped up. I'm amped up on lemonade, bro. I'm amped up on lemonade. <laughs> oh my god! But no, I actually I like I like the design of the Series X comparative to what we saw with the the leaks and if that ends up being the final concept where it's just a cylinder right no. i like i like the series x because no matter if you're laying it down or you're standing up it's kind of yes it's it's a little bit bigger and bulkier but it takes up it doesn't take up a ton of space whereas like you look at the ps5 that thing is awkward as fuck Ugh, yeah I mean, and you know i mean at least it at is. least it it came with so, something to put it sideways we don't know with the leak pictures if you can put the yeah. cylinder put it on its side and, right? and at so, the same time too like you know it's it's only going to the, the designs are only going to get crazier you know you know and yeah. i still don't understand why it's necessarily only just like okay maybe i do understand why it's only digital but yeah with the size of it that we saw from it like they could have put a disc drive on the very top and plop it and they could have yeah. been good um but i will say this though from a packaging standpoint, why is it that Xbox makes like when you're buying the Series X versus like a PS5, right? It actually makes you feel like you're buying a quote unquote premium product for the price versus when we got our PS5s, right? All it was was a couple of eggshell cartons around the system and a little cardboard box with your stuff in it. Like the Series X came like like wrapped with like a little wrapping kind of like a thank you on it like it was completely packaged in styrofoam to keep it nice and safe like it felt like you're spending five hundred dollars on the product okay but i put it out there like what what do you feel the percentage of people that out there that would actually appreciate the packaging over oh just nobody ripping no. the crap like, yeah into, like, I know, like, I get given it. my xbox i want to stop going through paper but like, like it had this like you know this type of actually like better packing material for the paper you know on it are you going to hold on to that is that going to be no. uh, shelved is that going to be like displayed? i just haven't taken it down stairs yet but like it was completely <laughs> like actual real styrofoam like actually to protect it and everything versus real styrofoam destroys parts. the world yes real sir. styrofoam destroys the world yes sir i mean like come on aren't you being a little bit <laughs> Not, environmentally crazy hold on not unless you live in a a city that has styrofoam oh. recycling. Stipulations. Stipulations. Yep. Which I live in a town that does styrofoam re- recycling. So um, but no, I, I think for me is I just I also didn't want a little bit of the lag when I was playing games too. So that's why I picked it up. Um and I think that'll lead to kind of what I've been playing. I mean, other but than my island. Do you really <laughs> think that? the hmm. lag would make a difference i mean between if you were playing game pass on the xbox and game pass on the computer do you really think there would necessarily be yes a lag? because so here's the difference because at least you can Mac. download because at least you can download your game to the xbox series no. but i don't think so certain games you can you can so download on, yeah so game pass i can download them to the console and they run like you're running them right off of a console like the switch to the ps5 or whatever it is right okay. but if i was playing x cloud off of my mac i'm playing across the internet to the server sitting in, you know, whatever data center has them, right? So you do have... But aren't you doing the same thing with have, Xbox Series no. X? You're going on the internet. No, I've downloaded all of it. So Halo, but, Starfield... But that's, but that's where I'm getting my question is like, if you were streaming, would you see a performance difference between the two? I don't know. I haven't tried that yet, but oh, okay. I yeah. downloaded them because I wanted them straight on the console. Okay. I mean, just saying um the xbox no. got you man xbox got you like so they don't go, i got gotcha. you got gotcha. you hey there is honestly like we've talked about though and i've always said this the industry is stronger when all three are at their peak of course you know so um I mean, I, again like and every there, every there are times though like when you see a game 
you know, I, like for me personally, I feel that Starfield is definitely a flavor of the month. You know, it is. It, it, and I want to see how like, it listen, looks on the X. Listen to like, how much is, it's it. been going on, though. Like, you know, people are like yeah. sad that it's like cookie cutter, even though they said, oh, it's going to be the same. Or, like, it's going to be mm-hmm. all unique. And like, people are lagging it up or like bugs galore yep. at launch. And you're just like, dude, like, I it's get Bethesda. it. You know, I get it. Um, you gotta just try to like not make it just flavor of the month. You know, like oh yeah, this, I get this that. Is supposed to be um, this is supposed to be your re rise to fame. You know. Yep, and I get um, that. Um, and and but, ju- ju- just in honor of Jason and I, and for Matt, we're just gonna play this real quick. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> um, but no, like for me. The main the main thing I'm looking forward to is is Forza, which comes out next month. Um, and honestly, I miss playing Halo. I really did. I've always enjoyed playing Halo, going back all the way to the OG Xbox. Um, and I fired up Halo Two tonight before the show, and it the remastered version looks really really good on running off the Series X. So, you know, I've got my couple of games, and honestly, at this point. I'll have all three because then I can play whatever game I want, right? If it's an Xbox exclusive, I can play it. If it's PlayStation exclusive, I can play it. If it's a Switch exclusive, I can play it, right? I don't have to worry about, you know, having FOMO because I'm, I don't have that game. Um, But yeah, along with Halo 2 and Animal Crossing, um, I also started a run of Final Fantasy 13. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, It's too bad you don't have any FOMO for games that are PC exclusive. Like what? <laughs> Lots of indie games. <laughs> tons and tons yeah. of indie games. Well, at this point, at least I can play the games right now versus Destiny and nobody can log on to it right now. Yeah, I haven't even attempted this week at all. Yeah, it's so broken. They're getting, it's the weasel error code now. Yep. So they have so many connectivity but, uh, issues, but, but that's been but going no, on for weeks now since the I DDoS attack. The, yeah. Uh, I think that's the other reason why I did go ahead and get the Xbox too, as well is because I really wanted to play Final Fantasy 13 and I owned a copy in the Xbox ecosystem. Uh, they haven't come out with a, you know, just a straight port to the switch or the, where the PlayStation with it. Um, it's not even available to stream via, you know, uh, PlayStation plus. So I was like, well, let's just go and get it. I'll play 13. I love 13. Um, and it looks actually really good. Um, considering its age, you know, being a PS3, uh, oh, it a 360 games. No, it's not even remastered. 13 just was a, PS3? It's... Yeah. Yeah. 13 was oh. PS3. I thought that was four. Okay. 13 2 is PS3 as well. No. Yep. 13 3 is PS3 as well. Hmm. Lightning Returns. So, but yeah, it, it's great being able to play that game again. I love, I love it. Um, it's the only one that I didn't actually own on, on the Switch or the PlayStation. So, um, it's been it's been great, and I love getting back into Halo. So, so what have you been playing since you're? Uh, I was now just saying, Xbox guy. Hey, you know, you know just... what? We can at least talk Xbox on the podcast, like with some at least a little bit of authority now, instead of just kind of bashed. But from, just imagine on the outside. Now that you have the um, Xbox, you're missing out on those great, great games of games with gold. <laughs> Yeah, you did miss out on a lot of you did miss out on a lot of games of gold, my friend. Like you know, oh, that, big whoop. You missed you missed like <laughs> millions of dollars worth of uh, MSRP. Yeah. So, no, it's uh, no. I mean, as I'm gaming, I mean, I've gotten a little bit of gaming. So Halo Two, Animal Crossing, and Final Fantasy Thirteen. But I've really been um, since Sunday doing editing. You know, I had a photo shoot on Sunday. I've got two more coming up, not this nice. weekend, but following weekend. So I'm, that's where my time is. So, wow. so Theo, what have you been playing since, other than Animal Crossing since you can't play Destiny right now? I've been kind of lost in Animal Crossing so far. Yeah. Uh, I had a tournament over the weekend and some bowling over the weekend. So I didn't really play too much overall. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do need to get back into tears. I, I, I'll i admit I spent too much time looking for Korok seed, so I <laughs> bored myself to death with tears by doing that. Uh, I need to go back to the yeah. campaign don't and I actually my, finish my the story. The 
<laughs> Dude, she but, started doing just like exploring the whole entirety of the map and, like, and like finding it all the little, little dungeons stuff. I mean, like and, I find myself like three hours later, it's like for I've a got, gold like I've gone through like a third of the map. I've got I've done a lot. Like no, you've you've got like seventy so far. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, uh, not too much. So Jason, what have you been? What have you been playing? Um, for me, I've been just trying to sort my backlog a little bit, um, figuring out what I needed to bust out, what I needed to play. Um, yeah, I FF7 Rebirth. No, well, that's that's later, sir. <laughs> um, but I, I, I actually, uh, finally, because I've been so busy, finally yeah. opened up and started playing uh 16 final fantasy 16 Ooh, I, mean, I, didn't even, you I didn't even know you bought it yeah i mean like i bought it right when it came out but the problem okay. is that you know just busy you know like didn't have the time didn't have the focus to like actually jump on it right away yeah so uh when is so 14 far? gonna get its uh quote-unquote rebirth of you playing <sighs> i don't know man like it might be it might be it you think it's just, retired from you? Uh, it's just because well, see, the thing is that you, I, you really do need to have somebody. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. To play with dum dum dum. Like you do need to have people to play with on fourteen. Yeah, and that's what kind of like makes me sad a little bit because the people that I used to play with, a lot of them, oh, okay, like a half of them stopped playing. Um, a quarter of them just found new groups. So okay. in the other quarter, like you know, they jump servers. Fourteen like is that. one of those um, services played. Uh, mm-hmm. You have to yeah. pay monthly. Okay, that's yeah. what turned me off from it. Was that? It's, yeah. it's like wow that you have to pay. You have to pay your monthly for it. Your monthly for PlayStation or Xbox, and then pay the subscription for. Yeah, that's 14 true as well. So, that's yeah. true. So it's 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 tough. It's just made me sad a little bit. I do want to go back into it, but again, it's just finding a group that's the same level of how oh. like how much you want to play versus Dude, yeah. like the skill. The skill, you know, people can barrel through and it's fine. But I'm right. gonna, I need to geek out for a second. What's I up? forgot how freaking small the store was. Nah, <laughs> I am so far ahead. I have forgotten how like how like small a, the store really was. It's like a little Hawaiian hut. You're right yeah so i mean um, like I, I do want to jump back 14 but again it's just not in the cards man like so what kind of sad so what are you thinking about 16 so far like 16 how... so far um interesting it does go back to a lot of its roots um mm-hmm. like final fantasy roots style uh the fight system i i can i can dig it actually mm-hmm. you know like i'm not I'm not like it's it's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst either. It's not the worst we've had. Mm, okay. So it's it's so far. It's what okay. do you guys count as the worst? Fifteen, eight. The draw system. I eight. hate the draw system. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I have a love hate relationship with eight. Like you can you can never to tell me draw that your magic is you not. Can never tell me that. The only way to get stronger is you keep getting the draw. And which means you and never use, using your spells. You cannot that, use your spells. That was the part of the draw system mm. I did not like. Is that you link everything into your um, your guardian friend and yep. so like, if you have the best spell, like let's say if you have Ultima, you can't then, use it. You can you can equip it on somebody and your stats will go extremely high, but you can never use it because Second if you, you use it, it, nope, then your stats go lower. So Correct. Hmm. I, okay. that is the dumbest system ever. I will always put that right up out there. Mm-hmm. I actually like to, I like nine, like you, you learn your abilities off your weapons. So you just def- oh, okay. by defeating enemies and stuff. And then once you learn that ability, you permanently know that ability, regardless of the weapons you have equipped. So you can always swap out your, your abilities at any point in time. You don't necessarily have to have a specific weapon. Um, Okay. Like as much as I love 13, it's not a perfect battle system either, right? It's a hybrid between kind of what I mean it it introduced the stagger system, which was fun to do. Which is what's used in a lot seven. 
and 16. Yeah, it, it kind of like started this whole stagger system, which was great. Yep. Um, but if you if you're talking about the best systems, honestly, I think six was great. Um, just because it had every character's individual, like you felt like they were unique mm-hmm. in their own ways, rather than like let me cookie cutter this to be a tank. Let me yeah. cookie cutter this to be a attack. Which I will say this: thirteen. Once I get the equipment, it's oh. there's going to be very specific ones where yeah. when I run, when I get it to the point where I can run Fang, Vanille, and and Lightning, Fang and Vanille are going to be equipped to be the saboteurs, which are yep. constantly running debuffs yep. while Lightning's yep. Lightning doing her thing as does, a soldier does the, does and a ravager. Yeah. Yep, it's and and that's why I like six because each one was so mm-hmm. individualistic. Like you, yeah. You have Mimic from Gal, and then you have like mm-hmm. Setzer with the slots, you know, like 137, yes, but 137 for turnips. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Well, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like we can we can have a whole discussion. Oh, we can have a whole this. conversation. I, I want to bring, bring a soldier in here as well because he he probably has his oh ups yeah. and downs. But like, you know, we just won't talk about seven. That's oh, no. all. Yeah. So no, 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 no. um but anyway, so with that, uh, I want to thank everyone for crashing game night with us tonight. Um, as always, it's it's our pleasure to kind of hopefully give you a little bit of a distraction from life um, as we talk some gaming and stuff like that. And tonight, it's kind of nice that everyone got to see my island. Um, we talk about it <laughs> enough on this show that everyone gets to finally get to see it for once. So right. um, if you like what you heard, like what you saw, please make sure to drop us a, uh, a follow on the platform of your choice. Uh, you can find all of those at crashinggamenight.com. Um, but... Straight now, everybody, just please be excellent to each other. That's right, my nerds. I forget that Jerry's not here. Uh, <laughs> but definitely let us just be safe out there. You know, show support everywhere you go. Um, you know, even in these times where we have all these natural disasters going off, um, you know, places getting hacked frequently or yeah and refusing to pay and refusing to pay um hey we're looking at you mgm i mean not just mgm but uh, you know you know and let's, we just need to band together in solidarity and just enjoy what we have because you know the prices of everything is going up mm-hmm. the lives of people are staying the same you know so let's just be safe out there let's be be nice let's be a little bit more calm confident and cool you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. well anyway since uh jerry missed out on all this you know and i gotta do his stuff hopefully i did it well but now it goes to my stuff and you know what that means you know what that means everybody my man (laughs) my man theowalski send us off like you do I mean, I got to do it just at least one more time. What? Oh, wait. Damn it. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Nope, 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 up, up, fail. Up. Okay. Rewind. 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 Nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening. Until next time, TTFN. Ta ta for now. Good night, everybody. No, no Jerry, so there's no like what? What? Okay. Thank you, my nerds. Thank you. Thank you, my nerds. Alright. <laughs>